Cal's Mountain Summit. This is Cal's Mountain in San Diego, California. It's a very popular and perhaps one of the, the most popular trails in San Diego because it's right in the city itself. And it's actually the highest point in the city of San Diego. It's 1,594 feet is the elevation. The hike up is uh, not that tall because I think the... Uh, Sea level is about 500 feet, so maybe about a 1,000 feet uh, hike. And um, there are two main trails that lead up to it. The front trail on uh, Gulf Crest and Navajo, and the one that I prefer is the Barker Way Trail, and that's on the uh, uh, east side of the mountain. And here you can see we're at the summit. That's the uh, plaque that's up there. Uh, that talks about the dedication. And the views are spectacular. This video was shot uh, just after sunrise. And there you could see Lake Murray in the, uh, on the left side a little bit over there. And there's, a, uh, there's the main trail coming up that we're looking at right now. There's a sign right there um, that shows you all the things that you can see uh, when you're looking out in that direction. I'm using a 360 degree camera and this is one of the effects. It's called Tiny Planet. And I'm up there as I usually am with my two Airedale Terriers. These are the larger Airedales and also known as mountain Airedales. So needless to say, they love their uh, hikes up there. It's a relatively easy, well, I guess it depends on your point of view. Let's say easy to moderate hike. Uh, the main trail is the most popular, but it's definitely not a good trail for dogs. Uh, it's too narrow and you have to always pull the dog over to let people pass by. So come up the, what's called the back way, the Barker Way Trail, a much wider trail. And um, I think it gives you a little bit, a little better exercise as well. Here you can see uh, we're uh, coming down from the uh, the top of uh, Cow's Mountain. There's a couple of stairs there, and you this is the Barker Way Trail right there. And we're going to go across from the summit on the north side. There's another little viewing area there that. Uh, kind of views out uh, in the northerly direction and also uh, to the east and west. And if you do have dogs, I definitely recommend if you're into uh, hiking and taking them out on trails that you, uh, you definitely try this one out. Again, as I said, we're here right after sunrise, uh, but it's most popular for sunset when you're looking west. This is the camera that I'm using called an Insta 361X. It's tiny, fits in your shirt pocket. It does regular videos and also 360 degree videos and it has built-in stabilization. Uh, so it's, and it does 5.7K. Uh, I'm only recording this, I believe in 4K at the moment. There you could see how thin it is and the two lenses on the camera. These are my two dogs, um, Teddy in the foreground and Annie in the background. Annie's about, oh, five and a half now. Uh, Teddy's just a little over a year. Now, remember, this is in the city. Your dogs have to remain on the leash. And um, when you do come up to trails, you also have to scan over there in the, uh, in the spring and summer to watch out for rattlesnakes. So that's why I like the Barker Way Trail bit, uh, better because it is a wider trail. And always, always bring water for your dogs. If you're interested in getting some more information about this great little 360 degree camera, I put a link in the description below directly to the manufacturer and you can check out all the specifications there. And also, if you purchase one through the link, 
the manufacturer usually offers uh, some extra incentives such as a free selfie stick or a lens covering case. So check it out if you like. If you enjoyed this Airedale Terrier video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, you might want to go to our very popular Airedale blog where we post these videos with additional photos and then mark the blog as one of your favorite sites. Thanks for watching.